Yeah. The whole head was charcoal? Yeah, no, relax now. Now yeah. check it out, man. And, and then a completely black bib <coughs> under that. Belly was cream colored with black dots, like polka dots. Uh -huh. the, the, the wings... The flicker doesn't have a... a oh, charcoal could be a flicker. Yeah, it could be a flicker. Okay, but now... The, speckles? The, the back, speckled, the cream colored belly with, with, with speckles. speckles. Okay. Very bold chested, you know. And a and black, then, a little, a little like a, a bib. A, a yeah, really flicker. Good, okay, but flicker. no, wait. The, the, the wings were brindled. Like brindle, chest, like a brindle okay. pit bull, you know? Zoom like, in. Like, no, I don't know. Like fudge swirl ice cream, like like a, a chestnut. That's color. not a good description for a bird uh, because it doesn't swirl. There no, are patterns. It doesn't there. swirl, but but it's brindle. It kind of like like little. You mean like checkered or or no? Or, um, like 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 Tweety. Huh. What That's color? my name for Trump. Brown, 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 brown uh, chestnut color, okay. but, but with little brown thing streaks. Yeah. Yeah. But 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 horizontal, not David, flicker. Flicker. Okay. flicker. Yes, you are. Oh, okay. All right, we're gonna start in a bit of a minute. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. And uh, we'll take care of things in just a moment. I'm gonna get organized, and um, we'll start. It's a rainy evening. It is an intimate evening. And I bet people will be showing up as time goes on. The teacher is not here yet. Our tour of to come, but we will see. All right. Let me see who else is on here. Um. So is it? This is rolling. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We, we, we've been rolling. Okay. All the time you were talking about the birds. It was on there. Anyway, um, Owen is our keynote. Description of a head. Our tour is not here. Hal Robbins, the mini, and the last one is Sharon. What? Nothing. I'm sorry. I'm oh. interrupting. It's okay. So let me just. Um, I'll do that. I'll do that. All right. Did we do this last week or no? Or yeah. did the other? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Give him a round of applause. He comes up here. the book. As, as we would like to call it. Oh, where are the other? You, you have two sheets. Where's the other sheet? Oh, that's. Um, oh, you want a book? Okay. I want both. Oh, you want both? I'm greedy. Dos. If I'm going to be a co-pilot, I might as well. All right. The co-pilot of the evening. Proposition one, whereas warfare is the worst of all crimes in that it embodies, encourages, and rewards all others, whereas the definition of war, as used at the Nuremberg trials, is meet for the purposes of this proposition, therefore we party of the first part, all citizens of any nation gathered in this room, all those who suffer from the effects and privations of war, who oppose it as a system, as a behavior, as a socially accepted institution, call for an end to war, cessation of all hostilities, the standing down of all military forces, and universal disarmament. Further let it be known, we the people, the party of the first part, state by our assertion at this time and place that we stand opposed to the existence or use of military force as we now know it. All those in favor of Proposition 1, please signify. Hand, raise your hands. All those opposed? Abstentions? I think that means it passed. I'm writing down there. There's a proposition two coming, just in case you don't want to know. I'm doing this. I think this is past. But anyway, I'll stop. Sacred's checklist. Welcome to Sacred Grounds with Dan Brady. Yes, we do. Oh, I am. Open mic in the middle of the and previously known and soon to be known in the future universe, serving up good food, fine poetry since 1972. <laughs> Let's have a big hand for Teddy and the invisible Fiona, our hosts. Please, please support this week by enjoying the food and drink served here. Well done. Poetry of all kinds, ladies and gents, is welcome here. We respect the mic, the Sam, the Billy, the Ed, the Jackie. That means keeping conversations to a minimum. minimum and to a minimum. slight whisper. Slight whisper. Put phones on mute. Bye, pretty. Mm. Or airline mode. Not disturbing the poet while they're speaking. Hey, buddy, can you read louder? Walking in front of them. Oh, sorry. Buddy. Say, 
and keeping to the time limit, usually only five minutes, but that can change. I, I would like to just add something that, that Dan Brady's enforcement of the time limit is superior to any other poetry reading I've ever been at. He never humiliates the poet. Oh, wow, well, we got 18 more. Do you think you could cut it to two minutes? We never get that kind of crap here. Uh, it, That's what's missing. That It's very disconcerting. And other, and other things, it's just like, you know, they claim to be free speech, but they aren't always. Sometimes they're restrictive. So I just want to note that. But you should, but please, you know, self-regulate yourself. And we don't have everyone here, not everyone here, keeps track of their time. So Dan is very gentle. And so when you hit that five minutes, ding, 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 you'll hear a little bell. And he'll, that, that's to let you know instead of someone <coughs> crashing. And he turns it off. Most yeah. Of yeah. No, no, no hook Thank here. You. Please note our screaming link. Screaming link. Screaming link. Our beaming link. Our theming link is handy in five ways. Hi. One. One. Why you can view conveniently enough from home. Number two. Family or friends can see you live or later on. Dead. Three. You want to hear so-and-so? You and We all remember so-and-so. So -and -so. First cousin to anonymous. What, yes. If you want to hear so-and-so's poem again, you can. Four. Four self-critique. No problemo, mi amigo. That's right. How many people by this show of hands that do, do a self-critique? One, two, oh, yes, four. All right. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I, I, my ego says, oh, no, it's fabulous. <laughs> Five, and it is a way to put out the word, the word, the word, the word, the word, yours, mine, ours, minutes, seconds. It's a way to put out the word. That's five. And that brings us to our ongoing theme, ladies and gentlemen. Never oh, doubt that a small group of committed. Okay, you focused here. Small group focus. of committed. Focused citizens can change the world. Indeed, it's the only thing that ever has. Margaret Mead. The evening's theme is? The evening's theme, thanks evening to Clyde theme, Always, thanks is, to Clyde is? Clyde Always. The evening's theme is always Clyde Always. <laughs> Just so you know. He, he, he thought that up himself. Always Clyde Always Clyde. We're pleased to say... Please to mumble over there on the side. <laughs> We're pleased to say our feature is Arturo Montecon. Ah, is not Arturo Monte, Monte what? Montecon. He is Monte not. Con. He is not, not here yet, yet, but he, he will, will be here. We're waiting. We're waiting. Who will give the Queen's wave tonight? When he does arrive. Okay. Oh. Tonight's keynote. Tonight's right. keynote is Owen Dunkel. Owen Dunkel. Owen Dunkel. Oh, no, very own. While our mini feature. The mini feature is Hal Robbins. Doctor Hal Robbins. We like to call it. And the last word is. The last word is Sharon uh, Scott Kish, who is not here yet, but will be with you soon. Okay. And now our fabulous door prizes. Fabulous door prizes, ladies and gentlemen. Door prize. Fabulous door prizes. Here book, they are. A book of luminous things, an international anthology of poetry, edited with an instruction by Cesla Milals. Impressive. Cesla Milals. Thank says you. Says who? Says. So how do you say it? How do you say it? Cesla Milals. Okay. I've never. I've never done Ooh. that one. Is Billy that? Collins, ballistics. Don't go ballistic. Uh, poetry from 2013. This is after the big change. Um, this is uh, Dostoevsky's White Knights, and it is was bought for a dollar in 1963. It's the Classics of Russian Literature series, and in the back, there's a, in, in, as a bookmark, you have the, uh, a fly leaf from the original cover. Uh, two, count them, journals. Ooh, I must like, say that, like well, yes, like. this one has little mar little things written in it here and there, like nothing, the pages are blank, but this one uh, is also completely blank, but no lines. And, and then if you're tired too. about that, uh, Carrying Water by Will Walker, Columbus, Ohio. Uh, this was originally 895, but it doesn't see the year for this. Oh. Well, there's a, it's been, it, it was sold to somebody who was obviously a friend of the author, but um, this I got from a collection of books that someone was getting rid of and I decided to rescue some. 
So better to give it away to somebody than have it wind up in the landfill. And then we have the mini feature. The mini feature. The keynote. The keynote. The last word. The last word. The co-pilot. Uh, and choosing the theme, which choosing um, the theme. Clyde always did, choosing his name as the theme. So um, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. The Those are your door prizes. Door prizes for the evening. And only now. here. Only now. Only why. Don't ask me. Our keynote. Our keynote. To unlock that door. Oh, and don't go. Come on up here, Dave, ladies and gentlemen. Come on around as he comes up. Yeah, we got our masterful master over there. Thank you, and uh, we'll focus in on him. E I E I O. Oh, we, we, we got him. He's, he's, uh, he's the mini feature. Really? Called by, um, well, it is Ezra Pound, called um, Ancient Music. Winter is a coming in, let us sing, goddamn. Rain is dropping, stain is slop, and how the wind doth ram, sing, goddamn. Skin is blessed and slop is us. An egg hath my ham, freezes river, turneth liver. Damn you, sing, goddamn. Goddamn, goddamn, tis why I am goddamn. So against the winter's bomb, sing, goddamn, damn, sing, goddamn. Sing, goddamn, sing, goddamn, damn. Sing, goddamn, sing, goddamn, damn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The, 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 the Lake Isle. Oh God, oh Venus, oh Mercury, patron of thieves, give me in due time, I beseech you, a little tobacco shop with the little bright boxes piled up neatly upon the shelves and the loose fragrant Cavendish and the shag and the bright Virginia, loose under the bright grass cases and a pair of scales not too greasy, and the horse dropping in for a word or two in passing, for a flip word and to tidy their hair a bit. O oh God, O oh Venus, O oh Mercury, patron of thieves, lend me a little tobacco shop, or install me in any profession. Save this damn profession of writing, where one needs one's brains all the time. Hey. Epitaphs, few one, few one loved the high cloud in the hill, alas, he died of alcohol. Love, Lipo or Lipo, and Lipo also died drunk. He tried to embrace a moon in the yellow river. <laughs> <laughs> That's a true story. You drown. Ancient wisdom, rather cosmic. She shoot dreamed, and having dreamed that he was a bird of being a butterfly, he was uncertain why he should try to feel like anything else. Hence his contentment. The three poets. Candida has taken a new lover, and three poets have gone into mourning. The first has written a long elegy to Chloris, to Chloris chaste and cold, is only Chloris. The second has written a sonnet upon the mutability of woman, and the third writes an epigram to Candida. The gypsy. That was the top of the walk when he said, have you seen any others, any of our lot? with apes or bears, a brown upstanding fellow, not like the other half-castes, up on the wet road near Ch Claremont. The wind came in the rain, the mist clouded above the trees in the valley, and I had the long ways behind me, Ray Arley and Pierre, and he said, have you seen any of our lot? i would seen a lot of his lot. Ever since Rodin's coming down from the flare of St. John 
with canvas, but never, uh, but never an A for a bear. The game of chess. Dogmatic statement concerning the game of chess. Three uh, theme with you. You a, a, a series of pictures. Red knights, brown bishops, bright queens, striking the board, falling in strong L's of color, reaching and striking in angles, holding lines in one color. This board is alive with light. These pieces are alive, living in form. Their moves break and reform the pattern. Luminous green from the rooks, clashing with X's of queens, looping with, with the night leaves. Y pawns cleaving and banking, whirr, centripetal, mate, king down in the vortex, clash, leaping of hands, straight strips of hard, hard color, block lights working in, escapes, renewal of, of context. Finish. Okay. Provincia Deserta. Edward Ross, Ross Corp, where the hills part in three ways and three valleys full of winding roads. Fork out to south and north. There's a place of trees, gray with Lincoln. I have walked there thinking of old days at Chalet in a, in a pleached arbor, old pensioners and old protected women have a right there in his charity. I have crept up over old rafters peering down over the drone, over a stream full of lilies. Eastward the road lies, all that path is eastward, with a garrulous old man at the end. I knew the roads at, at that place. Marsoul in the northeast, Lathor. There are three keeps, keeps near Balnero. There is an old woman, glad to hear Arno, glad to lend one, one dry clothing. I have walked into Perigo. I have seen the torch flames high leaping, painting the front of that church, heard over the dark whirling laughter. I have looked back over the stream and seen the high buildings, Seen the long minarets, the white shafts. I have gone in Rube Clack and in Scarlet. I have climbed rickety stairs, heard talk of Gray. I have walked over Ea Bertalon's old layout. I have seen Narbonne and Cahors and Chalos. I have seen Ex Exodil carefully fashioned. I have said, here such a man walked. Here Corle Leon was slain. He was here was good singing. Here one man hastened his step. Hence one lay panting. I looked south from Hot Four, thinking of Montaigne southward. I have laid in Brocaficada, level with sunset. I've seen, seen the copper come down, tinging the mountains. I've seen the fields pale, clean as an, as an emerald, sharp peaks, peaks, high spurs, distant castles. I have seen, said, the old roads have lain there. Men have gone by such and such valleys, where the great halls were closer together. I've seen plow on its rock, seen Toulouse and our leg greatly altered. I have seen the ruined Dorata. I have said, Roy Claire, Guido. I have thought of the second Troy, some little prize place in Albergo. I have seen two men crossing a coin, one keeping a castle, one set on the highway to sing. He sang a woman, however known, Rose of Wood. Rose to the song, the the dolphin backed him. The the castle to our austere, our austeres. Fiar kept the singing, a fair man and a pleasant. 
He won the lady, stole her away for himself, kept her against, uh, against armed force. So ends that story. The age is gone. Pierre de Mansac is gone. I have walked over these roads. I have thought of them living. Thank you very much. Thank you, Attribution Chief. And I have it in the Attribution Sheet so he can write down the name Buford. of the person. Okay. And uh, Buford's coming up next. Oh, no, wait, it's uh, Bob. I'm sorry, Bob. Bob Gordon? All right. We got Bob, then Buford, then Owen coming back for the open. Britt, uh, Marilyn, right? Yes. Okay, then we got Marilyn, new person. You're new, right? You're new. Okay, good. And then Bob, then Yasmin, then myself, then David, then Arturo, our feature, and who is not here yet. You're up, Bob. Yes. What? Did you want? Did you want? Can we mic? hear it again, my I'll friend? I'll hold the mic for him, but it, it would be nice if it was not. In yeah, it's kind of hard to hear from him. He, he can get you a mic that way we can hear you. I got a mic. Hear I got a mic. There we are. It's in a tangle here. Yeah, just maybe I'll plug it on. Tie it to the There we go. I got it. I got it. Go ahead. Keep going, Bob. But have him start with one so we can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Old ages coming to back. It's today. The air, the wages, placing coins round. How is the light and how is the air treating you? How old is the, is this your planet? Oh, how, old oh, how will you go round to your way again today on your planet? No, no, sound good here. No, it sounds real good here. Yeah. All right. Go ahead. Thank you, and thank you for that. Thank you. Get it organized. Love. 
Too. Love is like silk. That's good. It feels good next more, to your but, skin. Uh, just the hair. I once spent 19 years and nine months with someone. I just need a little bit more of that. <laughs> you, you don't understand. That nothing even compares to that, that, that experience. So, yes. January night. January night. The night is cool and wet in San Francisco, January. Work done, at least I hope, for the day. Cop persists. The door open to the restaurant to bring customers in. Except for some really good poets. Nobody much here yet. <laughs> Owen Dunkel. Owen Dunkel coming back for the open mic. Um, the, the, uh, the keynote always reads poems by someone else and then comes back for the open. So he is here now for that. And you're on. Night. Night of morning. My love stays silent as the leaves of winter that pull at my heart. Laughing in the right places and a, a comic rollicking. Nemo just moving through the leaves as charming as the clinking, drinking, and swinking of, of our cocktail just. Fair fire one. That round ball of fire, the sun walks by the sky in all of its tan Louis the Fourteenth splendor. I heard the wind ran, ran alongside parallel, keeping up. Began to set in its one act play. Run, run along that one that man wisp. Began, begat that deserted flower. Sand summer's barren heat wilted. Stunned with autumn's slow fire. A deserted tree in November. Yard full of that firm stuff. Stay on wind, stay. Time, guard till spring. Bud's birth forced. Pretty reasons all love's own. I say shanti, shanti. False soul, about the lonely rain now. See, see, sink the sundown, crawling alive to the slow horn of plenty. Survive quietly the now. <laughs> we have bliss, free as the spirit of the wind. Arrive we made a petty care. Connive gently the, the mounting of me, me. Always the squeaking of the mice and leaves skittering down along, leaving no trace of their not so nice inquisitive gawkings. Careful song of freedom and trust we sing to ourselves. Bells, bells, loudly ring. <laughs> Cuba C. The year 2005 is almost over. Leaves rain, wind, and cold November, snuffling, sneaking around in a friend, around like a frenzied mouse in search of a sunny beach. Down somewhere, I know not where, but somewhere, uh, like an old May coal, our Caracas, Venezuela, Havana, Cuba, Fidel Castro, bearded cigar in mouth, Old 50s issue fatigue cap and field jacket banging his bongos made of coffee cans. Shouting, singing this song, his favorite, to the snakes and iguanas. Cuba see, Yankee no. Cuba see, Yankee no. <laughs> Eyes of Jade. Fay little flowers pretend to hide, pretend they are full of joy when their eyes, yes, their eyes of the ten little, 
ten, hold aside their precious stems, petals, roots. Ride, little cowboy, ride. Singing men, singing schools say you are open, ready and full of love, love. To ride, to ride, so sailing his small boat to seas and witches that are to know their stout jongleur. Floats so song gravity, cloudy sandbar full of wishes and dreams that choice that choke fair Lilliput to pieces. Muses awry, broke. Night out bond. A dead moon floats above the horses of anonymity and the dark lilies of gravity. We seek the center of love from its jaunty earth of flowers and incense. More knowledge than we deserve. The way quiet never bothers the, the stealthy sea. Thank you, Mr. Oliver. Thank you, Mr. All right. Britt, you're up. Britt Peter, give him a nice round. So we have Marilyn and Bob and Yasmin and me and David and Lord Fauntleroy, George O'Keefe, Harrison Ford, Nanette Fabre, Lauren Bacall, and Adam Sandler. In that order. Yeah. We kicked the president around pretty good before we even started this evening. And here's another one. Trump legacy. The old man rakes it in. Fond of diet, cola, and golf. Turns out that the whole family are crooks. Kushner and Ivana, Ivanka, or however it's pronounced. The fabric of the future. The washing machines and all his palaces. Cleaning money. While a fleet of drones keep us safe. And ICE agents are seen kicking over water containers near our protected borders. There's more than a little sadism in their zeal and delight. The Donald, frayed mind, daddy told me to be a killer, and I comply. Yeah. New credo. There's no crying in baseball. There's no asking in poetry. It's in the telling. The wife of that, proof frocks, shoddy trousers. It's in the telling. She asked, what is your poetry like? I write from life, from life, within a life. There's no asking in poetry. This is mine, clatter and torn gathering a focus from yearning, delight and great grief, momentary rage, silly diversion, attending to the past, seeing the future, a light around the door, the sweet upwelling, the quiet urge, setting water out for a wave of migrants, singing alone in a wide net. <laughs> This is a, this will be the last. This is a poem set in San Francisco a little before the summer of love. Hate and Divisadero. Hey, Welton, come to the door. It's raining out here. A true California winter. Time to celebrate. Time for a parade. We'll form a second line up the hill and into the park. Lots of feathers and rubber boots. A scruffy growing band, Irish drunks, other hippies. Mama Khrushchev in her apron comes to the door at Andy's. Add to the fray, cops off their stools. You won't find any of these places on Heat Street anymore. Yeah. Okay, Mom, uh, cops off their stools from the dark morose bars. What's this commotion? Rain, rain in a California winter. Look at us, the aquatic parade, drenched through our public skins, moistening our hungry souls, bongos and bent sousaphones. What kind of music do we like? Loud, but glowing from the core, our mass sound echoing old records, Caledonian or wide shoes, 
or net with a plastic horn, Grace Bumbray singing a cappella. How we loved those old records, some snatched from Sally's bin. And at the top of the stack, Sister Rosetta and Marie Knight praising rain. Now didn't it, now didn't it, 40 days and 40 nights without stopping. Hey, Welton, come to the door. It's raining out here. For Welton Smith, 1940-2006. Wow. wow. Thank you. That's Chris Peter, ladies and gentlemen. Wonderful. And I have Marlon, you're up. Oh, yeah. So, Marilyn, just so you know that when you're a new person here, we give you a really warm welcome. So please welcome Marilyn in the kind of room like the arm of the new I can't hear that. Well, you know, we want to make sure that you feel like you're, you're at home and you're welcome. Okay. And, uh, so, oh, we just uh, adjust this thing so we can, uh, there you go. Just get really close to the mic because it'll, it'll pick up that mic. Uh, the title of this poem is Webs. Webs. He was not human. He was arachnid, acid, long white lines, weaving stories in and out of focus jumping on slabs of red brick that have gunshots from past generations, stretched out on white limbs and tight skin. He screamed, frustration. This nation of stagnation can't hear his cry. He's crying for damnation, damnation. The feather of a blackbird falls, violent, red. His eyes, his eyes are rolling in. I wanna jump inside his mind. Look at me, look at me, look at me and see Garden of Eden. He has eyes, but he can't see what lives in me, tasting ecstasy, choking on words, can't describe anything. He's arachnid, acid. He has eyes, but he can't see. Bite of his head, better to believe that we can be, weaving stories with long white lines. I'm calling him a prophet as he falls on his back. I grow wings and he can't believe what he sees. Breaking glass ceilings, leaving broken, shimmering shards, proof we are free. He was not human, he was free. He was not human, he was free. He was not human, he was free. Free, free, F-R-E-E, -E, free. Yeah. The mud on my skin is the warm embrace of the mother I never knew. It is the sun, the wind, the earth. Down to every molecule it brings life to my being. The leaves of the forest sing ancient songs that make my blood run strong, sending electric currents through my body. My heart beats to the drum of those that still speak the mother tongue. Trying not to let the old ways fade away, I record what I can through my memories, which only turn into fleeting dreams. My feet turn to wings, trying to escape this century. How do we not see the poison that comes from greed, that kills the sea, the air, the trees? Our mother cries desperate pleas, and we do not listen. Her ignorance springs on deadly droughts, making her cry out in floods. And when she wails, the very roots of our homes are thrown to the wind. And yet we choose to turn away, thinking we've outgrown her. Bring us to Babaru. Oh, Bob, 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 Really I'm reading more really rough drafts from the ballad of Buddy Nobody, uh, my, my upcoming whatever. It's my, 
Um, this one called Frida Loca, and this goes back almost 40 years, so I don't mind saying it's the uh, Frida Hotel on 18th and Mission. <laughs> it's still there. <laughs> the Frida Hotel. <laughs> Frida Loca. Things were getting pretty skinny sleeping on the fire escape with the acid heads. One day, Jeff, who had been tripping all night, wandered into a conversation with two octogenarians who ran an old toy store around the corner. They had quite a lot to talk about because he was looking for vibrating pillows and they had one for sale. One upshot of the conversation was to hear they needed someone to help them out as they were getting quite elderly, so Barb and I talked them into a deal. We could help them make dinner and move some things around now and then and live in the basement beneath their apartment for free. So it was all arranged. Mr. McKinnon had been a painter for many years. We had something to talk about and he tried to refer me to some of his old clients so I could get some work. But then he'd always get in the middle of it and try to jack the price and ruin the whole thing. The basement was all covered with a thick layer of brick dust. The mortar had disintegrated out over the years, so we swept away a place where we could have a bed up on the concrete shelf. There was so much probably loaded with asbestos. By the time I swept it all up, I had dust pneumonia and choked for the next month on it. Well, we got our place there and it lasted a few weeks till it came to light that we were expected to have that we expected to have a life and wanted to walk out on the streets at night and come home after 9 p.m. so George and Ethel cut us loose. We needed a place and Barb had a job by then at a thrift store so we checked into the Prita Hotel on Mission Street. Well that's a strange name we thought. wonder what Prita means. Maybe pretty in Spanish? We tried to look it up in the dictionary but never could figure it out. I've been reading the Tibetan Book of the Dead for <coughs> So sorry, I hate reading off this thing. I, I didn't have it any other way. I've been reading the Tibetan Book of the Dead for months in our horse trailer up in the mountains. Part of it described the six worlds or psychic realms of the human mind. It's believed these states could accumulate enough energy to actually manifest dimensions as real as ours, like heaven and hell and so on. I was very interested in all this and would practice viewing daily life through the various lenses described. As I watched the days go by, I imagined the characters I interacted with as wrathful deities. Wrathful deities are the same as peaceful deities, seen through the same karmic filters of anger, lust, greed, etc. Peaceful deities are pure light, seen through the karmic filters of delusion. Anyway, the management at the Frida Hotel desk took our money. I made sure to get a receipt, which he grudgingly wrote out. It was a good idea because later he pretended we hadn't given him any money and we owed him another month's rent, but I was able to pull the receipt out. Anyway, we picked the Frida because they let our dog live with us. We chose a room looking out over Mission Street so we could watch the action. It all seemed very exciting to us then, the neon bar sign flashing in our window, the hookers and street fights, drug dealers and cops. It took about an hour to realize that every time we'd open a cupboard or lift up a corner of the rug, hundreds of syringes were piled up everywhere. Like a fool, I went to the management desk and told them, hey, someone's complaining. <laughs> I told them all this. I said, someone was complaining they'd rented a room for the night and the bed had no sheets. The manager was puzzled. Mm, well, maybe we can't rent you a room tonight. The guy went back to his room disgusted and I told him, the landlord, about all the fits. Oh dear, he said, well, we'll have to get you another room. Later, of course, I realized he was probably one of the biggest drug dealers in the hotel. The place was a shooting gallery. We picked another room only to find it was just like the first one. We decided to let it go and not say anything more. I'd been down some sleazy roads before, but this place was so rough and tough, I wouldn't even let my wife walk to the communal bathroom at the end of the hall alone. I scoped it out first. The carpet down the highway was dotted with cigarette holes and had huge tufts torn out of it. A door had been kicked off the room on the way. The rug was all ripped up and a wooden chair with hundreds of cigarette burns sagged by the window. The wash basin hung in a tilted angle on the wall. <laughs> This is true. And overflowed with puke. I approached 
Cautiously, the toilet door hanging a jar on one hinge and kicked it open. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> A turd leaped out of the toilet and fired a left hook at me. <laughs> but I snapped back at the waist. I'm sorry. Okay, just I can stop. I get, get, go to another paragraph. Get, get, get to another Flush the turd. Well, we, we stayed at the Frida for several months while the dog recovered from her bullet hole. The walls were paper thin and we could hear the prostitutes being spanked in the room next to us and the bedstead banging up against the wall and the junkies talking as they cooked up their fixes. Ooh, look at this shit, man. It's all yellow, but it cooks down clear to the spoon. Addict life boils down to the kit, the fit, the shit, and the hit in reverse order. Or, I don't want to read anymore. All right. Thanks for a round of applause there, Fabulous. Tell us about you, nobody. Yasmin. Yasmin. Yasmin, that, that, and I, I'll follow her, then David, then Arturo, who is not here yet. My, we'll find out about that. And, um,. Depending what happens there, we'll make adjustments as necessary and needful, as we like to say. Hmm? Huh? Oh, I'm glad there's a small group, intimate and small. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's fine. I think it's fine. Yeah. We don't want to point it down. Okay. There we go. Thank you. Okay, I've read this before, but I thought it may be appropriate right now. The women are marching, the dreamers are dreaming, the um, immigrants and non-citizens are competing with the non-productive, non-performing white supremacists, and it's a very difficult time for immigrants, non-citizens to get jobs. So this is just from my novel and the protagonist is looking for a job, so uh, she's on her way up to hand it to resume. They rode the elevator in silence, she and five others. They looked in intently at the numbers as they lit up above the elevator door, flickering jade embedded in shallow streams. She felt the thrust, the heart in motion, as the elevator stuck on the 13th floor of the Equity National Bank. She knew, even before she followed the others, that they were all there for the personnel office. Mm -hmm. Omri took her time walking downstairs instead of taking the elevator. 527 steps. Omri reminded herself that she must persist. As if she was a ventriloquist, she gave voices to the petrified steps. She considered each argument in turn. This is New York, baby, the 13th floor said. There are another dozen who come here each day, overqualified, overeducated, and with no contacts, no leads. Ain't no use playing crap with loaded dice. <laughs> Chicken shit, the 12th floor replied. Last three years, you've settled for mediocre jobs. Grabbed anything you got. So ambitious, get ambitious. Get out your education, what you put into it. Yeah. Sure, the 11th floor said, impertinent, rapping, tapping. Calculate $1,000 a semester over two years, plus what you missed out on the earnings, opportunity, cost, and all that. Told you to get out there and get a skill. School of soft nudges where you get paid to get an education instead of paying for graduate castration. Change your... Change your sales pitch, take a job, you're used to. Start small. Look, there are all kinds of retail stores sprouting across the country. Fox Mall Casuals, Jeans and Things, they are the tomorrow. You're a good saleswoman. Start as an assistant manager, get promotions, get ahead. The next floor down, abrupt, economical with words. Supply and demand, baby. There's a demand for you. Women's movement and all that. Don't shortchange yourself. That doesn't apply to colored women, the ninth floor, retorted, swift, incisive. That's how come she ain't quiet yet. That's right. She ain't white, and she's a woman. Double minority. Two pluses she can claim. Only for citizens she can. Smart, that sixth floor. Out of turn, the fourth, rushing ahead of himself. She could fake it. Who's to know she ain't a citizen? 
and all the swelling hearts of those such as we who, lolling about in its swells, are as joyous as we are profoundly lost in our cups. Thank you. And this was written in a bathroom. <laughs> the shiny one right, in the bathroom right. is. It's called Ode to P. <clears throat> Bless this water that has passed through me. Bless this water on its way to the wine dark sea. May this water catch a moonbeam's glint just so to shimmer in the eyes of a beauty's ardent face. A glow. <laughs> bless it in all the waters with which it flows and blends, and bless that in all the air in which its mingling vapor ascends. By this means, bless the seven winds which carry it away over the seven seas to mountains, farmlands, every hill and dale, and into coastal fogs where it precipitates from trees. Nor forget sunset or its gleaming prism catches the sovereign's blazing rainbow hues, or in the sun's silvery light, the moon's silvery light, sorry, in the moon's silvery light, blaze it at the limb of our pellicle of atmosphere to cast an eerie halo of high, austere, icy delight. Bless this water that once was I, that once was a part of my heart's mind and eye. Bless this water from the one cup we share. Bless the passing of excess to spare. Yes, blessings pour each drop from the sky to clothe the world in the greenery we espy. Forever a river flows through us within. Thus do I offer unto thee this overwrought ode. <laughs> <laughs> Liquid refreshments to proceed. All right. So that brings us to David Eldreich. Give him a round of applause, and then uh, we will make our adjustments because our crew is not here at the moment. There you do. Yesterday's poem. Yesterday's poem. Being an observer and being a participant is like salad dressing. We shake it vigorously to make it appear uniform, but if you look closely, the oil is always winking out at you within the vinegar. <laughs> Three days ago. Room to spread. I've been... Mushroom season got started very late this year, two two months later than last year, but there'll be more tomorrow. They rise with turbans to unfurl, ripple, brandish, supple curl. Some are stalking, others shelf, a toadstool for a wandering elf. They're marching up an underbark while listening to the meadowlark. An oval egg that bursts asunder, welcoming the rain and thunder. Neath that cap a fiendish glow, with alkaloids to lay you low. As you lie writhing steeped in pain, you will not pass this way again. They cannot see, and yet they seem to see the spore of every dream. Some are edible, set you free. You've grown as mighty as a tree. Mycelium, mycelium, as deft as any mat, you dissipate the molecules to let the trees grow fat. Hidden down where roots abound is where you intermingle. Attached to limb, your visage grim, visage grim, appearing as a shingle. Like some apron, annulus, skirts around your middle. You don't concern some errant fern to stick you like a fiddle. You drop your print, a subtle hint. You're on your merry way. Spreading rings, phantasms sing like gins and gypsies play. Colors that you elevate, bright red, electric blue, ghostly white that glows at night, unearthly pulsing hues. <coughs> Excuse. When you decay and wash away, is anybody's guess. Your mission done, you had your fun, you simply deliquesce. Liquefy. Deliquesce. Be a 
singer or lyricist to understand haiku. Some say nuances lost in English from the original Japanese. Others claim anything short is haiku. No and no. 17 is a unique rhythm. It is a prime number. It cannot be divided into a number of equal syllables. It can be divided into a number of unequal syllables or some but not all equal syllables. Permutations, combination, combination. 17 has cadence. Long enough to tell a story. Short enough to tell a joke. It can skip heartbeats. It can parse thought into form recognizable in any language. If it sticks to your palate, it will lose its color. Ask Vermeer's seamstress a dream. She's sitting in the Louvre, waiting to take your order. I can't really tell what's under the surface. It's far too deep. Sounding bottom just won't do as long as we keep this adversarial relation. The power of the pen might just run you through. Releasing the dollar, embracing the tool, head pin dancing like a clanking fool. Gloves from Minnesota, actually made in Indonesia, hustled again by my American amnesia. I'm not saying they're better, I'm not saying they're worse, just tired of the American brand name curse. Made in America once had a ring, now it's as phony as of the I sing. Whatever happened to a world without borders, international cooperation is the world I ordered. Instead, I'm still sucking poison out of my soul. All these talking heads leave me out in the cold. Integrity is absent. Coveting is rife. Still won't deter me. Getting on with my life. How much time do we have? Last week, too bad. Okay. I'll read you another um, another mushroom poem, and then I'll stop. It. It's short. Oyster mushrooms, tan and gray, that fan from that fan from fallen oak, severed limb, its future grim supports it in decay. This oyster, more like scallop, spreads mycelium beneath the book. A mycelium beneath the bar, a web of white, a ghostly sight, bereft of stem, it perches right in simple cluster, multiplying in the rain and mist, defying water content, 90%. I'll cook this mushroom, it was meant to brush my palate, twist my tongue into a poem, to be sung! <laughs> Hi, are you going to take part in the poetry thing? I could. It depends what you allow. Poetry. Five minutes. Poetry is a big... Uh, well... Good, good, good. Political song. You can sing, you can dance, politics, whatever sure. you like. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure. Free speech venue. Care. So, um... Sharon. Sure. Did I have you turn this off? Sorry. Huh? Did you turn this off? No, no, no. Yet. Not yet. Um... So the, the feature is not here, and since you kick off the second half and end it, I was wondering if you wanted to do you, both of your parts in, in one in one fell <coughs> swoop, or you don't have to. You could, yeah, okay. Because I'm saying you like either way, you can you can do that, and so you know we'd be like 10, 11 minutes, something like that, and like that. So um, Sharon's going to take a spot here, and then we'll have a little break afterwards, or depending on the time, we might just go straight through to the end. So. Let me just pause.